quick power circuit, quick crossover, powerful kick. Students start in an athletic position with knees slightly bent and feet shoulder width apart. Students move laterally to the left by crossing their right foot over the left foot, then stepping the left foot across, planting that foot, and finishing with a powerful kick, like a goal kick, with the right leg. Students then move laterally to the right side and perform a crossover with the left foot, step and plant with the right foot, followed by a powerful kick with the left foot. Students continue moving in rapid succession from one side to the other, performing a crossover followed by a powerful kick for the duration of the station. Remind students that the foot that crosses over is the foot they will kick with. Quick scissors. Students jump and land with one leg forward and one leg back, then immediately jump and land with opposite legs forward and back. Remind students to bend their knees slightly when landing and to keep their backs relatively straight throughout. Students perform this quick version of scissor jumps for the duration of the activity. Quick hops, powerful bound. Students hop sideways twice on one foot and then push off that foot and perform a powerful bound back to the starting position, landing on the opposite foot. Students then hop on that foot twice to the other side and then perform a powerful bound back. Students are reminded to bend their knees slightly when landing. Students continue to hop twice to a side and perform a powerful bound back to the starting position for the duration of the station. Pylon Quick Step. Students work in pairs. Each pair sets up three pylons in a straight line about one meter apart. The students assume an athletic stance with knees slightly bent and feet shoulder width apart. The first student shuffles sideways over the pylons, stepping over each pylon and bringing the back foot together with the lead foot between each pylon, and then jogs back to the start. As the first student begins to jog back to the start, the second student begins to shuffle over the cones. Students continue taking turns shuffling over the pylons for the duration of the station. Flurry with a trap and step. Students start in an athletic position and begin to perform the flurry. Students take short, quick steps on the spot in a wide stance while on their toes. Every five steps, the students stop the flurry, lift one leg, and at the same time, turn the knee and foot of that leg to the outside and step that leg on the ground with the knee and foot pointing out. Then they lift the leg back up and step it back to where they started. Then they perform five more flurry steps and repeat the over and under to the other side. Students continue performing the flurry followed by an over and under from side to side for the duration of the station. Remind students to start the five flurry steps with the foot they perform the over under with. Power squats at 90 degrees. Students stand in front of a line in an athletic position. They perform a squat and then jump in the air and turn 90 degrees so they are straddling the line. Then they squat and jump in the air and turn 90 degrees back to the starting position. Students then squat jump to the other side and back to the start. Students repeat the squat jumps to both sides for the duration of the station. Remind students to keep their back straight when squatting and to bend their knees slightly when landing. Quick Hop Trap Students hop on one foot and while they are hopping on that foot, they kick the elevated leg forward with the knee and foot turned out at 45 degrees as if trapping a soccer ball in the air. Then they hop on the other foot and kick the opposite leg forward as if trapping a soccer ball. Students hop continuously from left foot to right foot, simulating a kick out and trap with the elevated foot for the duration of the station. Students can hop twice on each foot before changing sides for a different challenge.